Santa varied from country to country. Nineteen thirty, the Coca-Cola Company produces its first Santa Claus ad. It wasn't the usual cartoon character, but it still didn't have the right touch. It was felt the character could be developed into well, the real Santa. A thirty-two-year-old Chicago artist, Haddon Sunbloom, was commissioned to bring him to life. Sunbloom had already built a reputation in the art world and in the advertising industry. His nickname, Sunny, was earned through his classical style of painting, which built on a warm, friendly palette. Using a neighbor as the model, since the real Santa was busy in the North Pole, Haddon Sunbloom produced his first Coca-Cola Santa in 1931. It was love at first sight. Here was what Saint Nick really looked like: the red suit, the rosy cheeks, the soft, snowy white beard and hair, and here was a very human Santa, Santa who, like everyone else in America, Enjoyed the pause that refreshes. This initial ad appeared in the country's most popular magazines: the Saturday Evening Post, Ladies' Home Journal, National Geographic, and many more. The public believed in this very human illustration from the very beginning. Now, through the Haddon Sunbloom paintings, children from one to one hundred could see the happy wrinkles on the brow. The constant smile, the twinkle in the eyes that said Santa, and over the next thirty years, Sunbloom continued to embellish that image. Sunbloom Saint Nick struck casual poses. He relaxed after a hard night's work, raided the refrigerator a time or two, and sometimes got caught. Santa shared his happiness with children who just couldn't stay asleep. Made sure of their standing on the naughty and nice list, and occasionally played with their toys. In the Santa Claus book, E. Willis Jones pays tribute to the Haddon Sunbloom creation. It is Sunbloom Santa who is the real Santa Claus, whose face, despite changing tastes and electronic times. Radiates the true spirit of Christmas. How closely is Haddon Sunbloom associated with his paintings? So closely that when the original model passed away, he used himself as the new model. Sunny Sunbloom's personality was wedded to his creation, though he never did grow a beard. There are 42 Haddon Sunbloom Coca-Cola Santa Claus portraits in all, a small but powerful collection. So powerful that even today, more than 60 years after the first one appeared, there is no doubt what Santa Claus looks like. There is no doubt Haddon Sunbloom, Coca-Cola, and Santa Claus will be together always.